Navigating grief is hard enough, but what if your in-law adds a new partner too soon? Today, I'm sharing with you a message from a listener who is navigating a delicate situation. After her mother-in-law passed away from cancer, her father-in-law quickly found a new partner and is really eager to integrate her into their lives. But the timing feels so rushed, especially because they're going through some big milestones without her mother-in-law. I'll play you her voicemail now so you can hear the story directly from her. My mother-in-law passed away a year ago and my father-in-law started dating this woman immediately and it's putting a big strain on our relationship and I'm just not sure how to continue talking to him about this. We announced that we were pregnant and unfortunately the same day my mother-in-law announced that she had cancer and then she passed away when my daughter was three months old. So there is a lot of firsts that we have been trying to like mourn my mother-in-law during that we have asked him not to bring this woman around for and he's been very upset that we don't want her there and can't understand why her kids are treating him differently than we're treating her and we have now met her but that wasn't the case when the like my daughter's first birthday party and like her baptism and like stuff like that where it's like these are big family events that my mother-in-law would have loved to be there for and we also want to get to know my father-in-law without my mother-in-law and it just seems like he's more defensive of the relationship than he is listening to everybody's feeling about it and it's making everybody sad first of all i want to acknowledge how tough this must be you're dealing with so many emotions you have everything with grief and then you have joy with your child's milestones and now you have this new relationship being added into the mix it is completely natural to feel conflicted and it's okay to need more time grief is a personal journey and everybody him you your husband everybody moves at their own pace when it comes to setting boundaries around family events it's all about being clear yet compassionate you could say something like we would love to have you join us, but we're not quite ready, let's say her name is Cheyenne, for Cheyenne to be there. If you were able to come alone, that would mean so much, but we completely understand if you can't make it this time. If you feel like you would want a gentler approach, you could try something like, we're taking things one step at a time. We're not ready for Cheyenne to join us at these bigger milestone events. We hope you can still come, but we understand if it's too soon. Remember, Setting a boundary is not shutting people out forever. It's just meaning that you are setting your own pace, like the pace that feels comfortable for you at this time. So for right now, this is the boundaries we need to set the pace that feels good to us. Now, it's possible that your father-in-law might be so hurt and like push back at this, and that's okay. Sometimes boundaries feel super uncomfortable to those we set them with, but holding firm is essential for your own well-being, and you are allowed, like everyone's allowed to grieve, everyone's allowed to have their own time and to grieve at their own pace. It's not about you rejecting his partner, it's about you allowing yourself to fully process the loss of your mother-in-law. As you navigate through this, keep checking in with yourself, like honor what feels right to you and your family. There's no set timeline for when you should be ready. Trust your instincts and don't feel pressure to rush through the process. I mean, truly, you're not saying no to all things. You're just saying no to the big milestones that you you just know that you're still grieving your mother-in-law. Thank you so much for the listener who shared the story with us. I know that there are others out there facing a similar situation, and I hope that this helps you find a way forward that feels authentic to you. And to the rest of the Mind Your Boundary community, if you have any supportive words, insights, just like nuggets of wisdom, please share them with her below. We are all here to support one another through these tough moments. YouTube thanks you'll love this video. And until next time, friend, make sure you keep minding your boundaries. Bye.